Sir, on the back side, you can see there is Motorola branding and its model number is Motorola AFT Neo 5G. The problem in this device is this friend's device is our FRP lock. Gmail ID is locked. Google account is locked. Now, how will you confirm that your device is FRP lock? Then let me tell you a small trick. You pay attention to the top corner in my device doing a little locker show, right? So if this type of locker shows in your Motorola mobile, then it means it is confirmed that the device is your FRP lock. Gmail ID is locked. Friends, in the latest security, you are having to face a lot of problems in bypassing the FRP of any Motorola mobile. Like its settings are not being opened. This is a problem. There is no offline setup option. You have to face this problem too, okay? So in this video, I will tell you the latest way to bypass the FRP of Motorola's XVZ All Mobile. Please don't skip the video. First of all, friends, I will confirm to you that this Motorola device I have is completely FRP lock. That is, Google account is locked. I skipped it from here. I will skip it again. You pay attention here. You have come to the connect to Wi-Fi option. There is no option of next scene here. So what should you do first? Here, the pay device has to connect to a Wi-Fi because it is necessary to run the net in the device. So I connected the device to Wi-Fi. After a few seconds of waiting, you will be confirmed that this Motorola device I have is completely FRP locked. Google account is locked. Now friends seen here, the option of verify pin has come. That is, earlier the device was our pin lock and to bypass the FRP of this device, you have to verify this pin. We don't know the pin. Pin can be replaced by a pattern or password. Look at the second option above, use my Google account. I will click on this and now see it will be written here. You can see the option of verify your account has come. That is, now to bypass the FRP of this device, you have to verify the email ID of this device, i.e gmail id here which we do not know okay so it is confirmed that the device is frp locked now let's see how to bypass it note that the device settings are not open in the latest security a lot of your comments are related to this another thing is that there is no offline setup option google play services never shows never shows i will solve all these problems in this video I will tell you in this video how to bypass the FRP of all Motorola's XYZ mobiles. So please follow the video step by step. First of all, friends, from here you can see Motorola privacy policy option. You click on it. If you wait a little, the privacy policy will open. Okay. Now, friends, you come down from here. Here you will see how do I contact Motorola's privacy. Okay. You simply click on it, then come down completely. CLeno.com contact here. You click on simple. After clicking, if you do a little wait, then it will open. Okay, now here friends, see it is written. Proceed with United States America. You click on it. Okay, after that you cancel this from above. Okay, after canceling friends, now pay attention here. Enter serial number is written. What do you have to do? Double click on it. Then the share will be visible. You have to click on the share quickly. Okay, carefully here, I will double click. Have seen. You have to double click on the serial number. The share will appear. You can see double click and then click on the share. If you do this, you will see all these options. To simplify what you want to click on the share, then from here, I click on the share. After clicking on the share, then you will see a message below. You click on the message. After that, you click on it. The option of type name phone number has come. Friends, what should you do now? If you type something here, then see that something is not being typed. Okay, then will you do? Come back from above here first. After OK Bake comes, use message without an account. You click on it, start chat, you click on it. Now the option of type phone number comes again, then type 123 anything here. I type send to will see the option. You click on this, the message box will open. Here you have to type friends www.youtube.com. You can see on the display. You will type exactly the same. Then here I typed after typing, friends, SMS will be seen. You click on this, you will see tab to load review. You will see this. Here you will get to see YouTube. If you click on simple YouTube, the YouTube application will open on your device. Whatever the permissions come, you should leave all the permissions. See the account option in the upper corner. Click on it. After that, you have to click. 
after setting click on about after about you have to click on youtube term app services then chrome browser will open in your device click ok use without an account option and then click no thanks okay now friends the area above is the address box you click on it you have to type here friends frp file you can see on the firmware bd display it will type exactly the same then see here after typing friends this is the first website firmware bd you click on it then this website will open in your device okay website has been opened friends now you can come down from here okay we will come down from here friends so pay attention here what used to happen earlier friends you used to click on open settings then the device settings were open but in the latest security the device settings are not open okay then for this what you have to do is come down here okay we will come down friends then look at the open modo pay option here you can click on simple open modo okay after clicking on open modo this you will get to see it now after that click on get started from here you have to proceed simply okay now after that swipe upward from here see the gesture option here it is written here slide bar you click on simple slide bar okay slide bar is off here you turn it on after turning on you will see settings here click on simple settings sorry click on settings here okay now see here there are many options in the slide bar first of all you have to cancel all these options from here whatever options are open here you can cancel all these options from here okay after that there are three options at the top of the app tool catalog you have to go to tools and then select two options well first of all back to home you select it after that select the last option okay after that now you have to bake out of here on the website with form urbd okay then from here we go bake you have to come back from here okay now after that you had clicked on open moto now just below that open moto source is visible simply click on it and moto source will open in your device simply click on get started from here from here you can click on next and start from here permission has arrived click on get started from here and you have to complete setup by next from here okay after that you come down from here you will see an option here network protection will be provided click on it and click on explorer from here now friends look upwards there is a search option click on simple search now here friends you have to simply type apps on the display you can see the apps i have typed then see the first second third apps which you get to see you click on it okay after that come down from here you will see the app battery uses you click on it now friends you will get to see the list of all the apps here what do you need to simplify if you see the android setup click on simple if you have to do this then do it from here and then okay then come back android auto is there you click on it disable it for you and so from here disable it first then disable app it will be seen click on it and do okay from here okay then bake let's bake after coming friends there is another application that needs to be disabled and done that is google play services you click on it you have to do the same friends first disable it then disable the 4c stop from here disable the app then stop for and do okay from here okay now guys we we'll look up the option of the slide bar will show you here very lightly you hold it and slide it like this the slide bar will open from here you set up next next and okay okay now look here you will see the option of back to home if you click on this your device will be completely baked on the home screen okay now you come back from here absolutely back you have to come okay now you have to set up then click on start from here we will skip this man from here getting your phone ready you have to wait from here simple click on you mode click on accept and continue you have to wait here now you have the skip option here click on the skip option skip from here okay and now see just a few moments what will happen now here you will wait for a lot of time nothing will be processed see this this continuous will round like this next will not be anything processor it will do a continuous round like this okay then here you have to do a little vati do a vat for a maximum of 1 minute let it round like this and wait for 1 minute
Okay, now friends, now you bake from here. Let's you bake from here again. Let's bake. Let's see. Let's bake. Let's bake. Let's see how I get started. Okay, it's getting your phone ready. From here, we will come back. Now see. Now see. Here, the option of setup offline has been shown. It was not doing the show earlier, but now you can see the option of setup offline shown here. Okay, now friends, this slide bar from here, you have to slide it like this slide bar will open. This is the last option to switch to you. Simply click on it. Okay, now look at Google Play services that you disabled. Now you have to enable it from here. So enable it from here. Okay, after enabling, now you have to come back from here. On the setup offline option, we will come back comfortably from here. No hurry. By clicking one point at a time, you will see the option of bake ice setup offline. Okay, so from here we will go bake. No hurry. Very comfortably, one point of bake will come. Well, that's where we come from. If the option of setup offline is seen, now you click on it. Simple from here, you click on continue. Okay, from here, click on peacock. Except now you have to complete setup. Google services arrived. The FRP lock of this device was completely bypassed. Okay, now I will show you the complete setup. If you have any questions related to the video, you can ask by comments in the comment section. Or if you need to unlock any device of any brandy sitting at home, then contact me for this. My contact details are available in the description box. From here, we will remove both options. Click on more, click on next, click on next, finish. Okay, now look here, go to my home screen, click on it and just friends, now go and lock the FRP of your device. That is, Google account lock has been completely bypassed and you can see that your device has been completely unlocked. But here, you have to face a problem. This problem needs to be solved, friends. When the device's FRP is bypassed, the notification panel from above, see the notification panel does not work. Okay, what do I tell you to do? For this, you have to come to the settings of the device after coming to the settings, at the end, let's see the system here. Click on the reset option. Click on erase all data factory, reset. Click on erase all data. Click on erase all data. That is, you have to do a factory reset of the device once. As I mentioned in the video, it was full processor. You can follow the history of Motorola 50 Neo 5G bypassing the FRP. XYZ can very easily remove SRP of all those mobiles whose software will be up to date from Android 14. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like it, please share the video, like the channel, support and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.